Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number two from the January 2014 Core Mathematics C3-4 paper. And this question is kind of um, linked to now the new syllabus of P3. Um, and it's got something to do with the addition formula. And this one involves a tangent ratio, which is a bit rare normally nowadays. We don't really see questions dealing with the tangent ratio addition formula. Normally it's sine and cosine. And one of the students was asking about this, you know, this type of question. And, um, you know, so I found an, an, another example of it. So I'm going to, I thought I would make a video on, on this um, just to practice this in case it does come up. So here we've got the um, form that we see here. We were to solve this equation, giving the answer in degrees to two decimal places. Now it looks like it's something that's quite complicated to, to solve the way it looks. However, you should be able to recognize this form and if you look at the addition formula in your formula sheet, you should be able to recognize this, you know, that the A here in the formula, the A in the formula is like the 2x here. And the B in the formula, formula is like the 50 degrees. Okay, so that's tan A plus tan 50. So it's like tan A plus tan B. Okay. And you have over 1 minus tan A times tan B. So the A is like the 2X and the 50 is like the, the B. Okay. So we can think about this in our formula. You know, if we compare them, A in the formula is the 2X in our question. And the B in the formula is like the 50 degrees. In our question so we can rewrite this using this as the tangent of 2x there's a plus here okay there's a plus there there's gonna be a plus there okay so the form of tan a plus tan b over 1 minus so there's gonna be a plus between them so 2x plus 50 degrees is equal to 2 so this is the equation now we need to solve so it's as simple as that if you rewrite this you can rewrite it straight into this form and we can go on to solve it just using the, you know, the addition formula. Very, very simple. So you just have to recognize that this can become that. Okay, tan 2x plus tan 50 over 1 minus tan 2x tan 50 becomes tan of 2x plus 50 degrees. Now, what can we do with this? Well, we can find the inverse tan of 2x plus 50. So... And that the, the sorry the inverse tan of two two, so we take the inverse tan of both sides basically. So the inverse tan of tan of two x plus fifty gives us two x plus fifty. The inverse tan of two gives us the inverse tan of two, which we can find. We have to make sure that we are in degree mode, okay, which we are. So we say inverse tan of two, and that gives us sixty three point four three four nine. 63.4349 okay so 2x plus 50 equals so we have to first of all also we have to uh, try to rewrite our limits so that it matches this so our limits start off as zero is less than or equal to x less than or equal to 270 but our middle our you know the the angle here has become 2x plus 50. So we've got to multiply this by 2 and add 50. That gives you 50 degrees. And we have to multiply by 2 and add 50. That's going to be 540 plus 50, which is 590. So we have to catch all the answers between 50 degrees and 590 degrees. Now, this answer is in the range. Now, how do we find the other answers using the sine curve? Sorry, the tangent curve. Well, they repeat every 180 degrees. It's just one main angle, which every 180 degrees because the tan curve looks something like this okay this is this is the, the asymptotes and it just repeats every 180 so this angle here repeats again after 180 degrees and again after 180 degrees so we're going to take this angle and we're going to simply just add 180 to it we don't have to go backwards because we start from 50 and that gives us 243.4394 243.4394 was it 49 or 94 Four nine, yeah, and then we add another one eighty to this. Keep adding one eighties. That gives us four twenty three point four three nine four. Four twenty three 
423.4349, sorry, I keep saying 94. And then if we add another 180 to this, that takes us out of the range. So we have these three angles here. Okay, now we want to find the value of x. So we have 2x plus 50 equals these angles. So in order to find what x is, we have to take away 50 from each of them and divide each of them by 2. So we have 63.4349, take away 50 and divide it by 2. And we have 243.4349 divided by or minus 50 and then take away 2. And then we have 423.4349, take away 50 and then divided by 2. So that gives us our answers. So let's just, um, let's go back to this. So we have this. Okay, so I'm going to put answer minus 50 divided by 2. That gives us 6.71747. 6.71747. Okay, and then we have x equals. And then we're going to go back to this. We add 180 to it. Okay, and then we'll put answer minus 50 divided by 2 which gives us 96.7174 and then we have finally this last one so we go back to this answer we add 360 to it and 80 plus 180 gives us 423 so we have this answer minus 50 divided by 2 which gives us 186.7174, 186.7174. So our final answers are x equals six points. Now be careful. Here it says very carefully give your answers to two decimal places, right? So we normally would write one decimal place, but because this is, um, you know, otherwise stated, we're going to put 6.72, whoops, 72, 96.72. And we have 186.72 degrees. So those are the answers in our range. Everything else would be outside of our range. And that concludes this question um, using the, the addition formula for tangent, which is doesn't come up that often. So we should really know how to do this in case. Now here we have um, the playlist for this paper. will appear at the end of this video over there. You'll have a playlist for the topic of um, trig identities from P3 and also for addition formula here and you will be able to uh, link or subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.